Well, hello everyone, the Ontario Garden here. Welcome back to another tutorial video for Plate Up. If you already read the title, you know we're gonna be automatically making crab cakes. Automation, fully automation. With the less, the only caveat is that you can't fully automate pulling from a bin because you guys know how fish works. You'd have to have multiple setups for each bin and that's just a little bit too much work. But using this method, you can make crab cakes from when you take it from the bin, 100% automated to the hob. Now, if you have another system where you have multiple um, combiners, you could grab it with, set it up with your plates. But again, you can modify it as you see fit. If you check out my burger video, which will be linked in the description below, as well as my other fish automation video where you could automate red and blues, oysters and fillets the same exact way with two setups. But with crab cakes, it requires the combiners, which back then we didn't have these. So let's just get started. Crab cakes need three items. They need flour, which is pretty simple. It's straightforward. They also need, the other combiner is gonna be for the egg. Now, the issue here is your, not issue, but you're going to need a mixer for the egg. Now, you could use a rapid mixer, you could use a push mixer, or you could use a regular one. If you use a push mixer, or the conveyor mixer, as they're called, you just would not use one of these. But you do not want to use a heated mixer for this, because if you do, the egg will start to cook, and you don't want that. Now, if you end up having this being a smart grabber, then it would work, except it wouldn't because this would still cook the next egg. So best, base, best bet is to just not use heated mixers in this at all. Alrighty, so let's get this out here. All right, and then your egg, again, you could set this up differently depending on how your restaurant is set up. Mine is just set up like this, so we have to do it like this. And then the last bit is going to be the mixer, and it's gonna be your bin. Now, again, I have another one out here, which you, you, you could set this up a little bit differently. I, again, depending on how your restaurant is set up. I mean, you could have it pull, I just have to be able to access the door for this tutorial, so that's why I can't exactly do it this way. But you, you'll get the gist of it. Say you have, if you don't have the door here, this is set up, you could, put, you could push these in this way, you could put the egg on that side, it doesn't really matter. But what we have to do is I have to be able to access this that's the problem and we also have our wellington boots which i'm not sure if i can put it on during the, the practice or not but with this setup it'll grab the flour and it'll hold it it'll crack the egg over back here and it'll hold it and then here when you place this onto this or onto you know it doesn't matter you could line up a few of them here or if we have a bunch of belts you could really line a bunch of these up because the other stuff is automatic um, but you will have one, two, three, four, five with this setup. More conveyor belts, you could have more, or prep stations or whatever you could have. You could have a prep station in between the mixer going to the hob to really back up your crab cakes if you choose to do so, which I actually have one here, which, you know what? We could do that. It doesn't hurt to show how that works. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll let you guys decide how you want to do that. But anyway, this is basically the setup. And um, I can just put it like this. So say you have your two bins down here. You have another safety hob. I mean, literally, you could have it right here. You're serving like this. And then you have another person serving. Again, you could have tables down here. It doesn't matter how you want to set this up. Just the key is having these set up in the correct order with the correct sort of conveyor belts, the right types of mixers, going into the right type of hob. You can modify this as you see fit. But let's go into practice mode. If we don't get crab cakes on this practice, we'll just restart the practice. It's not a big deal. Let's see what we get. We got crab cakes, and I'm gonna put on my wellies. Look at my wellies, look at this. Look at my little wellies. Now, the way this is gonna work is you can see the eggs are backing up. The flour is backing up. The crab cakes, you're gonna take it, and you're gonna put it, and just watch, just watch the magic that happens here. Let's watch this. It's gonna go on the safety hob, boom, automatically combining everything. Actually, you don't, you could have a, 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 you could have this pulling off into this, really. Boom, there's one, done. Now, if you have a danger hob or a regular hob, it would go a lot faster, but you'd have to have some sort of plate set up for that. There you go, another one done. Again, you could feed this, load this up. You could actually load up three of these, and then you could have three ready to go, run down here. Another one's gonna cook. And the amount of time that it takes to cook is actually not that bad, really. And yeah, that's the thing. Now, if you have bluefish down here, 
what would well all that would happen is I don't have the bin here, so you have to kind of do a little bit of trickery here. Is the blue fish? It would just cook, right? So you could have it set up this way. The demonstration there is if you have this belted and you have two of these setups mirrored, like having the exact same setup for two, you could run both bins directly into that. It wouldn't it wouldn't really affect it. But again, for this, we don't have anywhere to put this. But for this um, this tutorial, we're not gonna we're not gonna obviously be doing that. Let's just put this first. So there, that's the basics of this. It's very it's simple once you get it set up. Now, it took me, this game that I'm currently working on now, a lot of things are outside here, um, as you'll see here. They're all, everything's outside. Is this took me to overtime day one, as you see day two up there, to gather all these things. But again, I only had a couple of blueprint cabinets, a couple of blueprint desks. The RNG was bad. I never got a mixer till OT day one. That's where I got my last mixer. So if you played a bit differently, you could start copying things earlier. If you're planning on going the route of taking crab cakes. Now, crab cakes do reduce your groups when you're playing a normal game and they do bring in more money because they are, are more involved to make so it's definitely worthwhile doing if you want to do it but making it gen generalized making crab cakes is you got to take it you got to chop it place it then you got to grab an egg chop it place it then you got to either grab the the crab cake with the egg on it and then dip it in the flour or grab the flour and put it on it so it, it's a bit of a a tricky thing to do now, the only way that this would work any differently, actually, no, it wouldn't because you can't add the flour. You could add the flour to this, so you could actually have the combiner here, but I don't know why you would do that. I'd rather have the crab cake sitting on here because as soon as you grab another one, and it just makes sense for me to do that. Um, but anyway, that's how you do it. Two combiners for this setup that I have here. We can get rid of these. We have four conveyor belts. Again, you can get away with not having these two, so we could actually just have one, two, three and then four in the back two mixers two combiners a hob safety hob or other hobs again if you try to combine it with plates safety hob is the best bet and then countertops and prep stations as you see fit like i said we could put a prep station in here like this and let's just see if we could we can mimic that scenario i don't know if we'll get crab cake again let's just try it just to show you guys how what that means we do okay cool so it's a little bit over here this is going to go like this like that, like this. I mean, th this is where you could really, in the beginning of the day, before anybody comes in, this is where you could really load up on this. So you're actually not, you could have, you could actually have, oops, I keep putting the redfish in here. You could actually, geez, you could actually have one, two, three, plus four, seven. So you could have eight crab cakes essentially ready to go make. As soon as I pick this up, boom. It's going to feed in to the next one. And then you can come right back down here like that. <clears throat> there you go. Now, the other foolproof way to do this, if you want to have some sort of automatic setup, I'll just K out of this, is if you have a smart grabber, if you have one of these bins as a smart grabber going into the mixer, I don't have an extra one, so I can't show that. And that would be set. You go into practice mode. You'd set it to crab. You set it to a crab, basically. And then you'd have another belt pulling it. You know, you'd have another belt pulling it like this. You could do that, but then you wouldn't actually need the prep station. So um, can we actually mimic that? I don't think. Well, we can. We can set up how it would actually look. It would look something like this, except this here would be a smart grabber. Because you would want to set this. You go into practice mode. And you want to set this. And the easier way to do it is you actually wouldn't put the bin there. You'd, you'd set the bins here, go to practice mode. Because the way that the game is set up now is that when you when you set a smart grabber in practice mode, it remembers how you set it. So you'd set it like this. You do your practice mode. You set it to crab. Then you get out of practice mode. You come back and then you put your bin here. And what that does is that protects this from running if this is not crab cake. However... And you may say, well, why wouldn't you want to do that with red or blues? Well, because if this is crab cake, you want to be able to grab the crab cakes and still put them on here like this, right? That's the reason why you want to use a smart grabber for this setup. Anyway, I'm not going to go any further with this. You guys can interpret how you want to make this better or make it different because fish is the only unique dish where the bins are random and the developer likes it like that because it keeps it from being... I don't want to use the term too easy, 
but it keeps it from being too easy. Because fish is one of the easier dishes in the game. Let's get on our wellies while we're talking, wrapping up here. The little wellies, look at these little boots. See, this is what would happen if this wasn't a smart grabber. And now you have crab, and you're like, well, what am I going to do with crab now? Now you're stuck. Now you're stuck, basically. Because everything is being used, and there's no way to to sneak a, a cut crab. I can't even cut a crab here. There's no way to sneak one in here. Like you could do like that. You could do it. Yeah, so you can't even do it, right? So that is the issue. I can't stick this anywhere. That's the issue with the, with the fish. But anyway, hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. It's a bit wordy. You can kind of cut it as you see fit. But yeah, this is how you automate crab cakes as full as you can do it with the game mechanics as they are with one setup like this. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another tutorial video and enjoy playing Played Up. Thank you guys. Take care now.